Hi, my name is Andrea and today I'm making Southern Style Oxtail. So let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need about three to four pounds of oxtail. Now these are really big and meaty oxtail. This is not the norm. Oxtail cost about eight dollars a pound and up. So this package of oxtail cost me about twenty four dollars. And you're also going to need some thyme, pepper, salt, onions, beef bouillon, flour, onion powder, and garlic powder. Now, these are just the seasonings that I use. Feel free to season your meat however you'd like. So let's get started. Okay, so now it's time to season the oxtail. Now I've already I've already washed and uh, trimmed off some of the fat on my oxtail. Right now, what I'm sprinkling is onion powder. Uh, just measure it with your heart, whatever you think is best for you, whatever your preference is. And I'll rub it in in just a little bit. Okay, now adding my garlic powder. This is half a teaspoon of black pepper, or I'm sorry, actually a teaspoon of black pepper. Couple of teaspoons of thyme. Thyme adds a really good flavor. My husband introduced me to thyme. He also introduced me to oxtail, actually. And then a couple of teaspoons of salt. Again, whatever your desired amount of salt is. I'm just telling you what I'm using. And just get in there with your hands and rub it in. Okay, so I've rubbed the seasoning into the meat and I've transferred the meat into a freezer bag. And now I'm adding about a half a cup of flour. And then I'm just going to close the bag and try to distribute that flour all over the oxtail. Okay, so I've got the meat coated in the flour. Make sure that you're using a freezer bag when you do this because a storage bag is not gonna be strong enough and you're gonna have holes in your bag. But now we're ready to go and brown our oxtail. Okay, so I have a third of a cup of oil that I've heated up in my pot here and I'm just going to add my meat and brown it on all sides. Okay, and so my meat is starting to brown and I'm just removing it uh, from the pot and just placing it in a pan. And now I'm gonna take that remaining flour, which is about a half a cup, just add it to that pot with that grease. I didn't drain any grease and I'm just gonna whisk it in. And I've um, whisked my flour into that oil and now I'm just adding in three cups of water and you're just gonna whisk it until it's smooth and thickens. Okay, so that gravy thickened up pretty quickly. Now I'm adding in one tablespoon of beef bouillon. You do not have to add beef bouillon. You can just, you know, keep it as at water if you'd like. And I'm adding in one cup of onions. I am using frozen onions. If you wanna use fresh, that's totally fine but I have found that using frozen onions in recipes is such a time saver. So after I stir in my bouillon and onions, I'm just gonna add my oxtail right back into the pot. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cover my pot and I am going to put it into the oven. I have my oven preheated to 325 degrees and I'm gonna let these oxtail cook for about three hours. Okay, it's been three hours and I just took the oxtail out of the oven and this is what they look like. So I'm gonna get these plated up and then I'll show you uh, how it all turns out. Okay, so here are the oxtail all plated up, serving mine over some rice with all of that rich and delicious gravy. I hope you all enjoyed this video. The recipe will be in the description box along with a playlist of quick and easy dinner ideas and also dessert ideas. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.